Over three decades and more, his business empire, which has carved its niche in resorts of unique disposition and unparalleled success, has reached far beyond its established reputation in tourism and the service industry. From the mountain, to the beaches, to the sea, and penetrating the international business arena, this empire is harvesting the progressive growth of a buoyant national economy through an industrious thrust in plantations, properties, paper manufacturing, power generation, leisure and hospitality, and cruises. This is the realization of one man's dream. The dream of a man who believes in striving hard with determination and diligence. This man is Tansri Datosri Lingo Tong, the force behind the great success of the empire. Born in 1918, Little did Tansari know that his uneventful childhood would blossom like the beautiful blooms in the fertile land of the province of Fuqian, China, in the early spring of that year of the horse. Life then was as simple as helping his father sell tea leaves by the roadside from one county to another. Tansri had to shoulder the responsibilities as breadwinner of the family at the tender age of 16, after his father passed away. Conflict within and without tore apart the vast land of China and the lives of its people. At 20, with the blessing of his beloved mother, he decided to sail across the South China Sea to seek greener pastures in Malaya. Tansri left the turmoil, bringing along merely 175 Malayan dollars. Ashore, Tansri started as a carpenter with the help of his relatives then switched to scrap metal trading, which later led him to establish his own construction company, Kianhuat Berhad. The hardship and struggle between the phases which Tansuri navigated might have claimed a lesser soul. However, his focused mind and unswerving belief led him down the path to become one of the most celebrated tycoons in our country today. Sixty years and more of hard work has built a sound foundation for his solid perch at the pinnacle of fame and success. This, however, has not changed his love for his wife and family. Sharing his life over 50 golden years is Ponsiri Lim Li Kim Hua, with whom Tansiri celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary on the 28th of September 1994. Tansri and Ponsiri Lim were married amid the turbulence of the Japanese occupation in Malaya. The knot they tied has united them to be stronger, to be there for each other through thick and thin. Their true love has dwarfed many obstacles placed in their way, providing an encouraging and warm environment for their six children. The teachings and guidance from Tansuri and Ponsuri Lim have instilled character and moral fiber into their hearts and brought them to where they are today. The perpetual love has kept Tansuri and Ponsuri going a long way and sowed the seeds of happiness and prosperity in the closely knit clan of three generations. Both his career and personal life were blissful for Tansuri after his marriage to Ponsuri. The eventful portfolio of his career in the early days has significance even today. The diversification to prospecting and mining also added color to Tansuri's career profile in those days. His family company, Kianhuat Berhad, has successfully completed many government projects. Kianhuat Berhad was the first local contractor to build the 12 million ringgit Ai Itam Dam in Penang in 1962. The well-being of the people in the island flourished since then. So has Tansiri's career. 
successful completion of the hydroelectric dam in Cameron Highlands and the Kamubu irrigation scheme in Kalantan confirmed his staying power in the construction circle. However, it was the hydroelectric power project in Cameron Highlands that catapulted his career to greater heights. 1965 proved to be the landmark year for Tansri and the present-day Gunting Highlands. Inspired by the crisp, cool mountain air of Cameron Highlands, Tansri's initial idea was to build his own bungalow at a mountainside not too far from Kuala Lumpur as a refuge from the hot Malaysian weather. He found Gunung Ulu Kali, merely 53 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. After a three-day trek up to the rugged mountain, his business acumen led him to anticipate that the improving standards of living amongst Malaysians would lead to increasing demand for a cool mountainside resort within reach. Thus, his personal passion turned into a nationally and internationally renowned tourist spot. Working through nights and days without proper water and electricity supply to build the 25.5 kilometer access road, Tansiri transformed dense tropical jungle into the first phase of Malaysia's premier holiday destination with three years of dedicated effort. History remembers Gunting Highlands as 12,000 acres and 2,800 acres of untouched maiden rainforest, acquired respectively from the state governments of Pahang and Selangor. Gunting Highlands Burhad was set up on the 27th of April 1965, and Tansari was granted a five-year pioneer status to develop the remote area. He risked his life and other assets to personally supervise the technical and construction team, which was assigned to begin the mammoth task of bringing this unique concept to reality. Since then, the chronology of Gunting Highlands development has been very exciting. The late Tunku Abdul Rahman, who graced the occasion of the laying of the foundation stone for the original Highlands Hotel, granted Tansiri a gaming license, which helped accelerate the development of Gunting Highlands. When this very first hotel in Gunting Highlands was successfully completed in 1971, Gunting Burhad was listed on both the stock exchanges in Malaysia and Singapore, with a paid-up capital of 10 million ringgit. The government, impressed by Tansri's remarkable achievement, extended his pioneer status. In the limelight of media coverage, Tansri saw his star rise, his unwavering courage and acquired eloquence earning him recognition from the government. He was conferred many awards, including Dato Ship, before being bestowed Tansri Ship during the birthday of His Majesty, the young Dipertuan Agong, on the 6th of June, 1979. Also, he is very well thought of by all the Prime Ministers, past and present, who supported and graced many occasions of Gunting Highlands over the years till today. When Gunting Hotel was fully completed in 1981, Gunting Highlands became a self-contained tourist spot. Its 25th anniversary, celebrated in 1990, saw Gunting Highlands exalted in its role as the premier holiday destination in the country. Tansri expressed his appreciation of the continuous support from the government by generously contributing to the community in need. The continuous progress of Gunting Highlands is certainly within the field of Tansri's vision. However, the natural beauty of 96.6% of the rainforest from Gunting Highlands' 10,774 acres land bank is kept barely touched for the well-being of our fragile ecology. When the business next expanded to the beaches, in the form of the massive project of a Wana Kijal Beach and Golf Resort, as an integrated development on the East Coast, the beguiling charm of the longest shoreline of Trungano was maintained. By the time our respected Prime Minister, Datuk Seri Dr. Mahadir Mohammad, officiated the launching of the cable car service from Gotong Jaya to Gunting Highlands on the 21st of February 1997, in conjunction with the opening of its new Highlands Hotel, Gunting Highlands has enjoyed 33 years of success.
Since the inception of Kian Wat Berhad in 1951, Tansiri's determination and foresight have brought him to the summit of his diversified interest in plantations, properties, paper manufacturing, power generation, leisure and hospitality. Now, his business acumen has channeled his investment in a cruise liner, the Star Cruises. It is already very well recognized in the Asia-Pacific region. The liner's fleet sails across the waters of Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, China, and of course, Malaysia. Its newly constructed headquarters spread across 30,000 square meters at Star Cruises Terminal in Port Klang, complete with office space and training facilities, together with computerized shore support from marketing offices in big cities all over the world, ensures smooth sailing ahead. Tansuri has carved his name in the international business arena. From a humble beginning, Tansuri has built an international empire, admired far and wide. Kadu mau kaya, pasti mau kuat kerja. Mau kuat kerja, tu pasti mau pakai tu piang utang. Tu yang ai yang dia tahu lo, yang dia tahu lo dia awal tu su ai zuo cha mu kia, suan jin dok tu zuo xian gong. This has indeed been an eventful voyage for Tansiri Dato Sri Lim Go Tong. He who harnesses the fount of unlimited power of hope and faith, draws inspiration from the support of the government and shareholders, masters his life and inspires others with his resilience, passion and commitment towards the nation, his business empire and most of all, his beloved family. Above all, he has always held firm to the belief that there is no shortcut to success, that nothing worth your while comes easy. Truly, his life bears testimony to this cherished philosophy.